Greetings loves, it is I, Tactical Girlfriend. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well. Today, we are going to be mag dumping into trash. Specifically, a couple pieces of trash that were pulled out of a bank. We've got some bulletproof glass, as well as a ballistic barrier that was underneath it. We have no idea what these are rated for, so we're gonna find out. And these are the guns we're gonna be using today. Over here, we have my Arsenal SLR 104FR chambered in 545 by 39 We've got an AR-15 in 5.56. We've got an AKM in 7.62. We've got 300 Blackout. We've got an AR-10 in 308. We've got a Glock in 9mm. We've got a Tokarev TT-33 in 7.62 by 25, and a Walther PPK in 380 Auto. All right, we're gonna first start with 380 Auto out of this PPK. Specifically, we're gonna be using 95 grain Spear Lawman ammo. Here we go. Let's check it out. All right, so our first impact here on the bulletproof glass of 380 did not go through. Interestingly enough, this is the round, what's left of it. Um, and then over here on a blessed panel, we have no penetration on the other side. Looking good so far. Next up, we got 9mm NATO ball from Magtech out of a Glock 19. Let's go check it out. All right, nine mils still did not go through. Definitely bigger impact overall, as you can see on the material there. And then moving over to our ballistic panel, nine mil hit right there. Still absolutely nothing went through. Editor's note, we just moved back to 40 yards. We were originally at 10 yards. We were getting some crazy ricochets. It just was not very safe, but it is interesting to note. Also, don't try this at home. Don't try this at a bank or whatever in Minecraft. Next up, we have 85 grain, 762 by 25 Tokarev from Privy Partisan in a Tokarev TT33. Let's go check it out. 762 Tokarev did not go through, much like 9mm. Made a big splash, but nothing else really there. On the ballistic panel, we have also nothing on the other side, no back face deformation, just a little bit of an impact on the very face. Next up, we have 545 out of my Arsenal SLR 104 FR. We are shooting Wolf 60 grain. All right. Okay, so 545 did actually send some chunks out the back. You can see on the cardboard there was a little bit of spall and fragmentation. I'm not really sure how much of that was a jacket or how much of that was actually the glass itself, but that's good to note. On the ballistic panel, we have a round that did actually go through. So this is the first round that has actually defeated the ballistic barrier. Next up, we have 556 M193 PMC XTAC 55 grain out of an AR-15. Here we go. All right, let's see what happens. All right, 556 did penetrate. We have a very clear hole here in the cardboard. It went right through. And ballistic panel as well. We got 556 down here. Definitely penetrated. Up next we have an AKM shooting Wolf 762 122 grain. Here we go. Check it out. All right, 7.62 by 39 
definitely did a lot of damage to this. Went right through. We have a very clear tumbling round that went right through the cardboard there. And over here on the ballistic panel, we have very clear penetration. Absolutely blew out all those Kevlar fibers. Next up, we have 300 Blackout. 125 grain. Sergeant Major Munition. I have no idea what the hell that is. But anyway, gonna send it. See what the damage is. Alright, 300 Blackout. Did a lot of crazy damage here. Um, went right through. A lot of spall. And probably the round itself went right through there in the cardboard. And over here. Definitely went through. Alright, the last but not least, we've got 308 Winchester out of an AR-10. See what I just did. All right, 308, pretty wild. That thing obliterated it and absolutely destroyed the cardboard behind it. That was pretty spectacular. And over here, we have the 308. It just cut through right like butter. It's pretty fast and this did not stop it whatsoever. Okay, was this test scientific? Absolutely not, but I do have a lab coat. Now, what did we learn from this? For one, don't rob a bank with handguns. It just is not gonna work out as well. I recommend using a high-powered rifle. If you work at a bank and somebody's using a high-powered rifle, just give them the money. Don't be a hero. I'm sorry to all the bank tellers out there. Also, interestingly, between the glass and the ballistic panel, we had very consistent results. I was kind of surprised by that. I would have expected the ballistic panel to do worse than the glass, but they actually were very consistent as far as penetration goes with each caliber. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this very silly experiment. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell too. If you got some other requests for things that we should mag dump into, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. I also want to graciously thank everybody who has contributed to this project on Patreon. You are the lifeblood of this, and I could not do this channel without any of you. If you want to go help out, you can always go to patreon.com slash tactical GF. The biggest contributors are named at the end of the video. And that's all the bank robbing I've got for you today. I really appreciate you all tuning in. Please be good to each other out there. And as always, please take care. Bye. Now let's mag dump into these.